Clay Travis has taken over for Rush Limbaugh in his spot. He and Buck Sexton. They host the Clay Travis and Buck Sexton show, and we're happy to have him on tonight. Clay, great to see you. So it does seem like we're finally allowed a little bit of air to note a couple of obvious things. Progress? Tucker, first, thanks for having me. Second, uh, these guys, I think before long, Bill Maher and John Stewart, somebody slipped them a red pill, Tucker, and the next thing you know, you know they're going to start getting accused of being Fox News viewers because they sound like somebody who's been hearing the truth for the past year as opposed to marinating in the absurdity that was the consensus opinion, Tucker. And here's yes. what I would like to take as a glimmer of hope. Comedy is supposed to be about rebellion. It isn't supposed to be right. about enforcing the dogma of the political party that is in exactly. power. And finally, we're starting to see a little bit of rebellion from Bill Maher and from Jon Stewart, two smart guys that looked at all of the facts and finally are saying, you know what, the wool has been pulled over our eyes. It's time to stand up and start to puncture the reality of the majority party that is ruling with a lot of absurdity. This is the emperor, emperor wears no clothes moment. To me, they definitely feel red-pilled, and I love it. So you make such a good point that comedy, art more broadly, is supposed to be about rebellion. It's raising a middle finger in the face of the powerful and saying, I'm sorry, I have a special exemption to say what is absolutely true and everybody knows and you can't do anything. I mean, what, how That's shameful is it that we wait a year and a half for someone to finally do that? I mean, I've been, I've been timing it this whole time. I've been waiting for it, Tucker, and, and I'm cautiously optimistic here that what is starting to happen is we are seeing a revolution against the woke universe. And that is going to be led, I really believe this, by creative people, by artists yes. who are going to say, wait a minute, you are constraining my ability to comment on the larger culture when you look at every one of my jokes and try to dissect it to see whether or not the Amherst faculty is happy with the joke that I have told, right? When all of this constrainment occurs, what typically is going to be the response is a robust, you know, just absolute embrace of creativity. And you can't be creative while being stifled within the bounds of what the left-wing culture is creating. And I think what you're starting to see from Jon Stewart and from Bill Maher, Kevin Hart, I don't know if you saw the quotes that he had out there about how he can't do comedy in this, in this current world. Jerry Seinfeld, these are not people, these comedians, who are known to be, you know, particularly right-wing in nature, but what right. they embrace is freedom. And I think, Tucker, what we're starting to create here is a world where you're either for freedom and free thought or you're against it, and comedians by their nature have to rebel against anyone who's opposed to free thought. Man, I hope you're right, Clay Travis. We spent the last year with not one thing, not one thing has been created in this country. Not one thing. Only destroyed. I know. And, and so the hey, minute the creativity show starts, Fox I'm News for it. In general, your show and Fox News in general, is whether they want to acknowledge it or not, giving these guys the space to make the arguments that they are making now, even if they consider Fox News viewers to be a pejorative insult, the reason why they can do that. Let me repeat this too, Tucker, because I think it's significant. All those people laughing in the Stephen Colbert audience, they would have been calling uh, anybody who made the comments that Jon Stewart did over the past year a conspiracy theorist, a right-wing zealot, an imbecile, and now they're enjoying the humor of the absurdity upon, upon which they believed. Uh, you make a good point. That's a better way to think of it, I think. Clay Travis, great to see you. Thank you, Tucker.